Hey, um, today I'm making a video on iOS 5. So, iMac there. Um, to get iOS 5, you need to download iTunes, iTunes 10.5. About, so you see, iTunes. I'll just pass, but it's iTunes 10.5. Um, just need to go here. Oh, on the other website, but this is a really good one. And register your UDID if you want to get it. And you can download um, the software here at this website. And you can also download iTunes 10.5 beta for Mac or PC. Even though you can only install the software on a Mac. Um, so um, I'll just show you iOS 10. No, I didn't tell five. I was five point So one thing that's really good is you can access the camera from the lock screen. Click camera. When you take a photo, it takes it and you can access the photo by swiping across. Like that. You can um, swipe down from the top and brings up notification center. It's 10 degrees, don't know, 13 degrees where I am. Um, so yeah. Also, I think that changed a lot is uh, Game Center. Having Game Center, um, you can see um, your account and stuff. But you can add photos now to your game center. My game center is Xuoka. Sorry. Um, it's Xuoka, and that's my parallel picture. Also, in game center, you can download um, apps. Let's go in game center. I'm going to games. Um, I've got 45 games, but even though not all of them are on my phone, let's get recommended games. And so if I wanted it to download, I don't know, if I don't have it, I don't, I don't have this game. If I want to get this, I'll show you this game. Um, I don't know how my phone. But I need this. If I want to get this, it'd say free, because it's a free game or app. Right there, it says free, I don't know if it's fake or not, but... Click free, brings up the store. No, it's like, it's like the app store in Game Center. And you can tap there. And. Okay, it should have started downloading. Yeah, it's downloading. It might be a bug or something. Um, also, in the app store. You can now oh, sign to my account. Okay, um, you can also see your purchased apps. You can also see this in iTunes 10.5. You can purchase, you can see all your purchase apps and stuff. So you can get updates in the small one, but um, yeah, so it's installing, download pretty quickly. Um, another thing that's kind of not very good, but it's a change, I guess, uh, the iPod music and videos is now separated. I don't think it's a really good change. I think it's a bad change. Another thing that's not really good, well, it's good, but on um, you stand, you can't get any stuff for it right now. I think you get it in spring. Um, YouTube app hasn't changed. Weather's changed, it shows your current location. Mine's Melbourne. Um, um, also, this clock there, the reminders here. Here you can get all your reminders and stuff. 
mine was not completed, it's still live, so I beta, fit for ILP, watch Hangover 2, watch Paul, and do, do my math homework. There's some other stuff. Life learning from Coles and stuff. Um. Um. Mail has changed. You can now, um. Uh, do some fonts and stuff in the built in dictionary in iOS 5. Um. When you get a notification, you get them on the top, right here. Um. Uh, what else? In the camera, you can now get an option. What's well, called options? You tap options, and you get grid and HDR. Tapping grid, you get a sort of gritty, grid kind of thing. And what it does, is it allows you to focus on one thing. Focus on the screen. Doesn't doesn't look very good on my camera, but it looks very good on my phone. Um, and if you move it, it's Staying, well, I'm trying to stay focused, but it's supposed to stay focused. Um, I just turn that off. Um, also, okay, took a good photo this time, I think. There's that photo. Okay. Let's click on edit. I'll just enhance the quality. Let's just focus here. Just a bit more color and stuff, and you can rotate it. That's fine. So I just said before. Zoom in, that's pretty cool. Um, so it's like that and shop. The more zoomed in photo. I'll save that and that's like that's how simple it is to edit your photo. Just edit the photo. And get it. Um, that's how easy it is to take your photo. Um, <laughs> we could go on. Yes. Um, settings has changed. It's gone to settings. A lot of new settings, like the, the buttons and stuff, have changed. Uh, you get new notifications on not location services. Uh, notifications. Um, you can you get a, a variety of locations. Notifications, um, notifications. Like, um, with the first scroll, do that. You see, you got the local weather and stocks. And you can turn, like, the weather one off. Also, see, here, yeah, the uh, icon. Not the icon, but the off and on. Off, on, off. Swipe. It's gone, so you can customize it. On and done. Um, also, there's a bug. I think if I go to wallpapers here and then wallpaper, uh, there are not wallpapers. I think there's a bug in beta 1. Hopefully, beta 2 fixes that problem. Also, there's iCloud. Um, in iCloud, you can get a lot of stuff. It's got storage and backup. You can see how much storage you use. 4.7 to back up your phone. I backed my phone up at 1256. It's now 132. And it doesn't take that long to back up. So it's very good. Um, you can also set automatic downloads in the apps in under store. If I go to store here, the automatic downloads. I turned the cellular off because I don't want to download apps automatically if I'm on my 3G. 
But uh, you can download apps automatically from the App Store. I don't download apps autom I don't download books from the App Store. I just use iBooks to download PDFs. So, um, um, there's Photo Stream in iCloud. If I go to uh, General and About, I'll just show you that you can change the name of your device straight from here. And um, you see here, uh, I was ten, uh, a five point oh, um, and it's beta one. Um, you can now sync with iTunes, like without having to connect your phone to iTunes to sync now. But I can't click it right now. iTunes has to be open. You can the software so over the air updates. Yeah, I keep getting this error a lot of things that happens to all devices. Um, there's new um, accessibility and a lot of new features as well. You can um, select speak selection, and you can get hearing settings like LED flash alerts and ammo alerts and um, uh, incoming calls and triple. Yeah, that, that was already there, but you can. Um, did a lot of really cool stuff before, not before, but now. Um, there's a lot of new features in iOS 5, including uh, Twitter integration. I don't have Twitter, so, um, yeah, so there's a lot of new things in iOS 5. And, yeah, um, it's really good. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Also, you get notifications. On your lock screen right here. You can write there. So one more thing, I keep forgetting this all the time. You can now take photos with the volume buttons. See my volume buttons. Let's focus. Uh, it doesn't seem to focus, but uh, it's in the case. Um, you can just take photos with volume buttons. So I'll just show you. Take a photo of. Oh, I think it's covering the camera. Okay. Focus. Okay, so I just took a volume about the volume buttons. There are probably more features, but I haven't been able to think of find them out. Um, but there are a lot of new features. But one of the main two problems I've had with it is the wallpapers. There are no wallpapers, and that some apps crash a lot. All the time, but you know they crash sometimes. So um, yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.